constructivity and computability perspectives for mathematics, computer science, and uh, philosophy. And uh, one of my uh, messages uh, should be that uh, uh, constructivity is no obscure philosophy of uh, mathematics, but it is uh, deeply rooted in the origin and practice of mathematics. For example, in antiquity, in the Euclidean geometry, Proofs were supported by a construction of figures with compass and rulers and uh, um, uh, rooting in the practice of the geodetic and astronomic uh, measurements. And that is a nice illustration from uh, the Middle Ages. And uh, in the early former times in Cartesian geometry, geometric forms um, were replaced by um, coordinates and uh, algebraic terms and equations. And the proof of existence in this tradition means constructing a geometric figure or uh, algebraic solutions in the questions. But then logic uh, uh, came in since the antiquity, and so the question arises what about on constructive proofs in which one proves that something exists but uh, um, um, uh, we assume that it does not exist and then derive logical uh, contradictions without uh, showing the way to construct the thing in question. And uh, not only uh, constructivity but also computability is deeply rooted in the origin and practice of uh, mathematics. For example, here in, on the illustrations on the left are the uh, algorithms were supported by uh, the abacus and uh, calculating uh, boards and uh, the intended practitioners in those times were businessmen and uh, craftsmen. And uh, since the age of uh, mechanization, that means the 17th century, with for example Leibniz and Pascal, up to the age of uh, industrialization, uh, the uh, computers, the early computers, uh, came in, and the proof of existence in that tradition means an algorithmic solution realizable by the computer. And uh, uh, with these historical uh, remarks in mind, I will start with uh, some basic uh, uh, remarks concerning uh, computability and constructivity. Then I will consider the differences uh, of uh, constructive, classical, and intuitionistic analysis, degrees of constructivity classified in the research program of uh, reverse uh, mathematics, and uh, a new aspect uh, comes in with uh, the intuitionistic type theory with a uh, link to computer science, to the development of proof assistance, and uh, then uh, the question arises, what about uh, the tradition of the uh, real algorithms? That means algorithms which were used since uh, uh, modern times, early modern times, Newton's method, uh, and, uh, so, and so on. Can they be uh, understood by uh, concepts of computability uh, beyond the digital computer of uh, Turing? that means uh, as uh, real computing, or sometimes called analog computing. And I will uh, close with some remarks on uh, modern uh, applications to uh, machine learning, AI, uh, financial mathematics, modern uh, applications of constructive uh, mathematics. Let's start with computability and information systems. It is well known that uh, Alan Turing, he was not only a great British computer pioneer, but also a logician and mathematician. And for the first time, very early in 1936, he defined for the first time logically, mathematically, what a digital computer is. And his concept of the Turing uh, machine leads to church thesis that every algorithm, every computer program can be simulated by a Turing machine. But Turing's concept is restricted to uh, numerical uh, functions and uh, concerning uh, the applications, for example, physics, we use functionals in quantum physics, the observables are considered uh, functionals. So in order to describe approximations of uh, abstract objects like functionals by finite ones, here we use uh, the concept of an information system uh, with a countable set of bits 
uh, of data. And uh, the idea was uh, introduced uh, by Scott later on, elaborated by Schwitzenberg and others. And the approximations need finite sets of data which are <coughs> consistent with each other. An entailment relation expresses uh, here uh, the fact that uh, the information of a consistent set of data is uh, sufficient to compute a bit mm -hmm. of information. And interesting objects are the ideals of an information system satisfying some uh, conditions of consistency and uh, deductive pleasure. That is uh, interesting uh, because the information systems can be typed and the ideals of the typed information systems are exactly uh, the, the partial continuous functionals of that uh, type. And the partial continuous functional um, uh, of a certain type is computable if it is recursive enumerable a set of uh, tokens. And uh, these partial continuous functionals of certain types can be used as semantics of formal functional uh, programming language. And that is the first thing to uh, computer science, to the development of uh, uh, program extraction by interactive proof systems, which are uh, equipped with tools to extract functional programs directly from uh, proof terms. For example, here, an existence proof for uh, uh, the term list reversal. And uh, these ideas have uh, uh, consequences to uh, practice. For example, imagine uh, customers uh, uh, who want uh, software which solves a problem and thus they require a proof that it works and suppliers answer with a proof of the existence of a solution to the, specific to the specification of the problem. And the proof has been automatically extracted uh, from uh, the formal specification of the problem by a proof mining software, for example, uh, but then the logical question arises uh, whether the extraction mechanism of the proof is itself in general con uh, correct, and there is an advantage here that can be guaranteed by the uh, meta theorem of uh, soundness. So, this uh, concept of constructivity is understood in the tradition of computers, information systems, but there is another a different uh, tradition. Uh, of uh, constructivity, which is rooted in uh, philosophy. And uh, that is the uh, school of uh, Brouwer. According to Brouwer, the mathematical truth is founded by construct construction of a creative subject, he said. Uh, and uh, with that concept, he followed uh, Kant. Uh, come to uh, claims that uh, mathematical construction can only be realized in a finite uh, process, step uh, by step, um, um, in, a, um, in a kind of counting uh, process uh, of arithmetic. And thus for Brouwer, mathematical truth depends on the finite uh, steps, finite stages of realization in time, he said, by a creative subject. And uh, the whole concept was a little bit formalized later on by Kripke and uh, Kreisel. And following this definition, the creative subject has a proof of a proposition at a certain stage if uh, it satisfies some uh, conditions. For example, that for any proposition, this relation is decidable and uh, that uh, proof at a certain uh, stage can be finitely uh, extended and uh, uh, proposition is, uh, is called uh, true if uh, there is a uh, uh, proof at a certain uh, stage. And uh, in this concept, the, uh, the uh, familiar uh, sets are replaced by so-called spreads and fans because a spread uh, means a kind of uh, infinite object uh, which is ever growing and uh, never finished, like a tree. A, fine is, uh, a fan is a, a finitely branching uh, spread here on uh, the left. Uh, that means it is realized by so called, the branches are realized by so called uh, choice sequences, uh, lawless or law uh, full. And the famous uh, fan theorem that uh, every continuous real function 
on a close interval is uniformly continuous. This uh, is the intuitionistic uh, tradition um, uh, justified by uh, Brauer's fan principle. But the disadvantage of the fan uh, principle is that it is uh, not in general valid in classical mathematics only uh, as uh, a contraposition of uh, uh, Koenig's um, lemma. Now, uh, anyway, uh, intuitionism leads to a different meaning of the logical uh, constants, different to the classical meaning. For example, here in the brauer heiting kolmogorov proof interpretation, a proof of an existent uh, statement means a pair of components. The first component uh, is the construction of an element of the domain, and the second uh, component is a proof of uh, the statement for the constructive, constructed uh, element. So the disadvantage of the brauer heiting kolmogorov uh, uh, interpretation uh, is the unexplained notion of uh, construction and constructive proofs. And therefore, uh, Gödel wanted the constructed, that constructive proofs of existential theorems provide explicit uh, realizers. And therefore, he replaced the notion of constructive proof by the more uh, definite and less abstract concept of computable functionals of finite type. So in functional interpretation of uh, proofs, uh, intuitionistic, uh, the unexplained notion of construction is defined by computable functionals of finite type with sets of finite approximations, which are recursively enumerable. And so, uh, to make a long sh story short, we can uh, say that constructivity and computability can be understood uh, rooted in uh, the concept of uh, information systems which I introduced in the beginning. Now let's uh, consider the uh, differences of uh, constructive, classical, and uh, intuitionistic uh, analysis. Uh, the question, how far is it possible to reconstruct constructive mathematics without being in conflict with uh, classical uh, mathematics? And uh, this philosophy was uh, realized uh, by uh, Hermann Weil in his book, Das Continuum, The Continuum, from 1918. And uh, uh, some years uh, later, later, actually, uh, half a century uh, later, in 1964, uh, Paul Lorenzen, in his book Differential and Integral, uh, used by its uh, technique to develop a predicative uh, analysis which can reconstruct classical uh, analysis with the principle of excluded uh, middle as far as analysis is constructively founded. What means uh, constructively founded uh, in this uh, approach? First, the set of natural numbers are given by inductive construction of terms, and then constructive sets and functions are abstractions of inductively defined uh, terms. Uh, for example, here, a set is inductively defined by the equivalences of this uh, inductive scheme. And uh, the N here uh, contains uh, partial uh, formulas, which are constructed as at uh, lower uh, levels. And in that sense, predictivity is uh, guaranteed. The induction. Uh, definition uh, can be contracted in a comprehension scheme uh, like this. And so starting with the construction of natural numbers, further constructive objects are generated by inductive uh, introduction, uh, construction of terms, formulas, about already constructed objects. For example, here the real numbers are <coughs> introduced by invariant formulas, invariant with respect to equivalent uh, Cauchy sequences, which are um, introduced inductively um, uh, by inductively uh, defined uh, terms um, in the um, uh, way which uh, was uh, uh, defined before. And uh, in, on this line, I think we can uh, uh, understand uh, <coughs> constructive mathematics in the sense of uh, uh, Bishop. Um, in 1967, in his book, Foundations of Constructive 
in analysis, uh, Bishop uh, could prove most of the important uh, theorems of real analysis with constructive uh, methods without, again, without uh, contradicting uh, classical mathematics as Brouwer's intuitionistic mathematics uh, did. Uh, the, the difference between uh, Bishop and Lorenzen may be uh, Lorenzen was a mathematician and a logician, and therefore he preferred the introduction of the constructive uh, concepts by inductively defined uh, terms and formulas. Uh, Bishop was a, a mathematician, and uh, so he used the informal way of a practitioner of uh, mathematics, for example, natural numbers are given for him as fundamental construction of the human mind, he said, and he related explicitly to Kant, Kronecker, and uh, Brouwer. And a constructive set is defined by a rule to construct an element of the set in finite steps and by a method to prove that the two elements of uh, the set are uh, equal. The informal way uh, we do at schools and in the beginning of uh, uh, mathematical uh, instructions. The constructive function is understood as a rule which associates an element B of a set N to each element A of a set in such a way that B can be found in a finite routine, he said, uh, when uh, the argument is uh, uh, given. And the real numbers are again uh, introduced by a certain kind of uh, uh, sequences of rational uh, uh, numbers here. Uh, he uh, preferred uh, the so called regular sequences of rational numbers. And the essential point is that the, real, uh, the reals are identified with, uh, the, uh, with the regular sequences of rational numbers. Uh, that is uh, quite similar to Lorentzian, Lorentzian uh, in the Lorentzian. Uh, meaning um, equivalence classes are only uh, façon de parler, he said, by the way, a formulation, formulation which was already used by uh, Poincaré uh, mm -hmm. in earlier uh, times, and uh, here for Bishop uh, uh, there are no um, equivalence classes, but uh, uh, the numbers are identified with these uh, sequences. That means uh, objects which are introduced by rules. Now, uh, what are uh, the differences in uh, the meaning of continuum in intuitionistic and constructive uh, mathematics? Consider the uniform continuity uh, theorem uh, again. It holds in Brouwer's intuitionistic mathematics by a proof based uh, on his uh, non-classical fan principle, only uh, justified classically in uh, uh, restricted a meaning I mentioned it before. Uh, it holds in classical mathematics, but uh, justified in a different way. And uh, but it is false in recursive, constructive recursive mathematics, because here the reals are identified with uh, uh, recursive uh, reals. In Bishop's uh, constructive mathematics, there is no uh, problem because the continuous functional functions are. Uh, understood here, or uh, defined on uh, um, the closed intervals, uh, are defined as uniformly or uh, continuous. Now, um, uh, Bishop had a uh, great influence to computer science. Uh, uh, I think uh, that is the uh, different to Lorenzen, by the way, that is uh, the great advantage of uh, his approach um, uh, because um, uh, proof systems, the first proof systems, were inspired by his ideas that is acknowledged here in the quotation of Robert Constable from 1985. Shortly, he said, after we had executed our first constructive proof, I wrote to Bishop informing him of what I took to be an historic uh, event. I told him how much his writings and his encouragement had meant to us on the long road to this uh, accomplishment, I was crushed to receive my letter back unopened, marked the recipient deceased. Now, um, there are obvious degrees of constructivity, and uh, these degrees of constructivity uh, are nowadays uh, classified in uh, the research project of uh, reverse mathematics. 
actually, this research program has also deep uh, roots in uh, the uh, philosophy and history of uh, mathematics. You remember the Euclidean tradition, axiomatic mathematics, has started with axioms to deduce the uh, theorem. And uh, uh, this uh, forward procedure of deducing uh, theorems is not <coughs> always obvious. Uh, the question arises, how can we find a proxy appropriate uh, axioms for proof starting with a given theorem in the backward, that means in the reverse uh, uh, procedure. And uh, this problem was methodologically already considered in the third century after Christ by Pappas of uh, Alexandria, a philosopher and uh, uh, mathematician in those days, and he, in the Greek tradition, calls the forward procedure synthesis, because synthesis is a Greek word for Latin constructio, construction, because in the Euclidean tradition, the logical deductions were characterized by geometric construction of figures step uh, by step. And the reverse uh, search procedure of axioms for a given theorem was called by him analysis with respect to decomposing a theorem in its necessary and uh, sufficient uh, conditions and the decomposition of the corresponding figure in its building uh, blocks. So, uh, in modern terms uh, of uh, reverse uh, mathematics, uh, uh, we uh, uh, want to determine the minimal axiomatic system we require to prove theorems. Uh, that means formally, formally if um, um, we have a theory T1, which proves uh, theorem uh, tau, and the theory T2, and the theorem tau proves um, theory T1, that means it is a reversal, then uh, the theory T1 and uh, uh, the theorem tau are said to be equivalent over T2. And reversive mathematics allow to uh, determine uh, the uh, proof uh, theoretic complexity of theorem of theorems by classifying them with respect to equivalent theorems and proofs, equivalent uh, to uh, subsystems of uh, second order uh, arithmetic, and uh, I think uh, this, uh, um, um, this approach has also a nice um, um, connection with, uh, with uh, philosophy, with the uh, philosophical uh, research uh, programs. Um, the uh, philosophical research programs in tradition are no longer in conflict, or they are no longer um, um, reasons for uh, philosophical struggles, because uh, they can be uh, ordered, they can be classified uh, according to their program. For example, consider Turing's concept of uh, computability. It uh, um, concerns the subsystem, the subsystem which is characterized by uh, the uh, recursive comprehension axiom. Or Wiles and uh, Lorenzen's um, philosophy of predicativity, which I mentioned uh, before, uh, refers to a subsystem which is characterized by uh, the arithmetical comprehension axiom, and so on, even up to uh, subsystems with uh, uh, impredicative, um, impredicative uh, series. Classical reverse uh, mathematics uses classical uh, logic and classification of proof uh, theoretic uh, degrees with uh, the mentioned recursive comprehension axiom as with the subsystem, constructive reverse mathematics, which was um, mainly elaborated by uh, Ishihara and uh, others, loses into mystic logic and Bishop's constructive mathematics as weak as subsystem or constructive <coughs> classification. And here are some of uh, these uh, levels, for example, here the so-called uh, Russian uh, subsystem, that means constructive reversive mathematics, which I mentioned shortly before in the uh, Markovian uh, tradition, that means Bishop system plus Markov's principle plus uh, Church's uh, thesis. Now, uh, another uh, meaning of uh, uh, constructivity uh, comes in with intuitionistic type theory, 
we had already a workshop uh, about that, and uh, it is uh, especially interesting for links with computer science concerning proof assistance. So here, my first slides are a short reminder of that. In the beginning, there is the Corey Howard uh, correspondence. That means that natural deductions can be, in the Gensen style, can be characterized by um, a lambda terms of uh, the church uh, calculus. And so a proof is a program, and the formula it proves is uh, understood as a type for as a program here uh, for individualistic implication or natural deduction. And uh, on the other side is a corresponding lambda calculus type assign assignment rules. Uh, T alpha, this term here on the left means on the left side T proves alpha as well as T uh, is uh, of type. Alpha proposition can be uh, understood as types in uh, the intuitionistic type theory. And uh, in addition to the type formers of the Curry Howard uh, interpretation, Martin Löw later on extended uh, the basic intuitionistic type theory by, for example, well founded. Uh, three types and uh, general notions of inductive uh, def definitions. For the beginners, it is always surprising that now the uh, axiom of choice is a theorem in intuitionistic type theory, but that's only a uh, consequence of uh, the um, um, meaning of uh, the Brauer Heiden Kolmogorov interpretation of the intuitionistic uh, quantifiers. Now, um, I um, considered the uh, induction uh, principles in the predicative uh, approach of uh, constructivity. And uh, here, inductive types in intuitionistic type uh, theory are freely generated by a certain number of uh, constructors. For example, here for the natural numbers or here for the type of uh, finite lists. You know that is an interesting uh, concept in uh, computer science. And uh, these inductive types uh, are characterized by a proof, um, by a proof procedure, an induction principle, proves a statement for a type freely generated by its uh, constructors. And that can uh, be extended even to higher inductive types here uh, to the real numbers by uh, introducing, again, constructors here for the type of Cauchy reals and uh, the uh, connected uh, type family of um, equivalence, uh, equivalence uh, relation. And uh, even these extended um, uh, types can be characterized by uh, induction principle. Now, uh, the question uh, arises, and I mentioned it in my uh, last talk uh, already, but now in a broader sense. Um, how far can uh, real numbers be constructively extended by uh, uh, further uh, classes of numbers? Uh, the complex numbers that was already done by uh, Bishop himself in his book on uh, constructive uh, mathematics. Then uh, in the next step, uh, quaternions and octonions in the intuitionistic type um, uh, theory uh, tra uh, tradition. Uh, quaternions and octonions can be introduced, or the types of octonions and uh, uh, quaternions, by introducing the corresponding uh, constructors. Um, uh, anyway, these classes of numbers can be understood as one, two, four, or eight uh, dimensional division uh, algebras. And uh, there are constructively uh, justified uh, proofs, for example, um, uh, the uh, uh, fundamental theorem of uh, algebra, algebra of uh, Gauss uh, in uh, uh, complex uh, analysis. Uh, uh, the proof was uh, already considered by Bishop in his uh, book, or uh, the uh, un um, um, uh, unique uh, characterization of quaternions and uh, octonions by the uh, theorems of uh, Frobenius and uh, uh, so on. Um, uh, the crucial uh, question is uh, the following. 
the theorem that every division algebra has to be one of these four dimensions can, at least until now, as far as I know, only be proved by topological uh, methods. And that is a very uh, challenging and uh, uh, tricky um, uh, question, which was considered here in our book by, uh, by Hilzebruch. And uh, it is uh, realized, this proof, in two steps. Uh, first step was uh, Hopf in 1940. He proved uh, that the dimension of a division algebra over uh, the reals uh, is a power of two. And here I used homology uh, theory, uh, petty numbers and things uh, like that. And uh, as far as I can see, this is a constructive uh, proof. But uh, then in the second step, uh, Milner and others in 1958, they proved that the power of 2 must be equal, equal to 1, 2, 4, or 8. And uh, they used the Watts periodicity the theorem, which was uh, uh, discovered uh, just uh, before on the homotopy proofs of Unitarian also not possible uh, groups. Uh, now, Hirzebruch uh, himself used a uh, somewhat uh, different uh, uh, proof uh, in uh, uh, this book, which uh, relates to uh, Atias and his uh, um, uh, results. But uh, anyway, I'm not quite sure if uh, this uh, second step is also uh, constructed. But uh, I think that's a nice uh, challenge to uh, think about that, perhaps here uh, during our uh, conference. Now coming back to uh, intuitionistic um, uh, type uh, theory, uh, it uh, opens an uh, important link, I think, uh, as I mentioned before, to um, uh, uh, theorem uh, provers are here uh, on the basis of uh, COC, that means um, uh, type programming language <coughs> as well as a constructive foundation of mathematics. It's interesting for uh, my consideration before concerning predicativity because with the inductive types, the calculus of inductive construction removes impredicativity. And you know on that basis, uh, Koch was uh, introduced and Koch is a platform, Koch with Q now, the uh, proof assistant, is a platform for the formalization of mathematics as well as the development of uh, uh, programs. Now, um, uh, to uh, um, add uh, another approach which is perhaps not uh, uh, well known like uh, the others, um, constructive uh, algorithms, I mentioned it before, have historically a long tradition in uh, real uh, analysis. And so the question arises how far can they be uh, understood in an extended uh, meaning of uh, computability beyond uh, digital uh, computability of uh, Turing. And uh, that was uh, a question uh, which uh, was already asked by uh, John von Neumann in the end of the uh, 40s. John von Neumann, you know, was also a great computer pioneer in his former days. He was also a logician and uh, later on the famous mathematician. And here in this quotation, he said, the reason for this, the gap between digital computers and real analysis, uh, is that it, digital computability, deals with rigid or or non concepts and has very little contact with the continuous concept of the real uh, or of the complex numbers, that is, with mathematical analysis. And yet, analysis is a technically most successful and best celebrated part of uh, mathematics. Uh, for example, here, uh, starting with the beginning of numerical analysis in the 17th century with uh, Newton's uh, method, it is an iterative uh, method to approximate the roots of uh, nonlinear equations. For example, here in uh, the figure uh, A, uh, um, is the uh, initial uh, approximation to a root of, uh, the, uh, uh, of a polynomial equation. The Newton's uh, method uh, replaces A here by the exact uh, solution A1, 
And uh, these uh, steps are um, generated here algebraically by a kind of uh, endomorphism which is uh, given uh, here. Now, uh, these procedures can be interpreted uh, by uh, machines. That uh, was a suggestion uh, given by uh, Smale and uh, this uh, research group. Uh, these uh, search machines over real numbers and uh, complex uh, numbers are uh, illustrated here by finite uh, directed uh, graphs with uh, four types of nodes, uh, input, um, computation branch, and uh, output. And uh, the nodes are characterized by functions and uh, conditions on incoming and outcoming action. Uh, the crucial aspect here is that uh, these uh, objects, reals, and uh, complex numbers are considered as completely uh, given. And so uh, the uh, concept focuses on the computational algebra of uh, the uh, machinery. For example, here uh, the machine generates an orbit by uh, Newton's uh, endomorphism, which I mentioned before. A stopping or halting condition is uh, given, and uh, halting sets can be uh, defined. And uh, Newton's endomorphism, which I mentioned uh, before, is given here by a rational uh, function, a quotient of two uh, polynomials. And uh, this concept uh, can be generalized. I have not to the time here to go into details by a graphic machine over a ring uh, in general, and uh, this uh, machine can be uh, characterized by a computing endomorphism on the state uh, space with a set uh, of nodes <coughs> which are generated by a machine during uh, computation, the so-called computation uh, passes. They are characterized by uh, branching uh, conditions uh, and the uh, initial um, computational passes, if the ring is ordered, uh, can be uh, characterized by basic semi-algebraic uh, sets. And that means by uh, polynomial inequalities or equalities, and I think that is a nice constructive uh, aspect of uh, this approach. Um, it can, in general, be proved that uh, um, for any machine over the ring, the holding set is a countable disjoint union of uh, these basic semi-algebraic uh, sets, and that is uh, uh, important for uh, decidability uh, questions. Uh, here are the uh, definitions of uh, computability in uh, uh, intuitively, I think, uh, understandable way. A map is computable over a ring if there is a machine of that kind over the ring such that the holding set uh, is uh, the domain of uh, the mapping. It is called uh, recursive enumerable over a ring if uh, the uh, set is uh, the holding set of some uh, machine over the ring and is said to be decidable if, it, uh, if uh, this, uh, the set and its compl uh, complement uh, are both uh, recursive uh, innumerable. And I uh, mentioned that uh, in order to um, uh, here to introduce a result concerning Newton's uh, algorithm, uh, which is definitely undecidable. That means that the set of points that converge under Newton's method is that converts under Newton's method is uh, undecidable over the reals and uh, to prove that it is sufficient to consider this uh, cubic function here because uh, in that case it is known that the set of points that do not uh, converge uh, to a root of uh, the function under the iteration of uh, Newton's method is exactly a contour set and a contour set uh, is uncountable so the uh, complement is uncountable and following the definition of decidability uh, the Newton's algorithm is undecidable. Um, some uh, concluding remarks uh, concerning uh, practical uh, applications nowadays of uh, constructive uh, mathematics. My first uh, remark concerns machine learning. 
you know, machine learning is a hype now with uh, uh, AI, and uh, it uh, relates to uh, the neural networks. The neural networks are complex systems um, representing uh, nodes uh, for uh, the neurons of the brain, and uh, the synaptic interactions are represented by um, here by edges. And uh, the nice point here is, which I uh, want uh, to underline, that uh, in these concepts, uh, the weights or the ability, the ability of the neural network depends on the weights which are uh, used in the, uh, here in these constructions. The weights are represented by numbers. The weights uh, here of uh, the connections uh, representing the uh, degree of uh, neurochemical interaction. And in very simple cases, we only use integers. Um, and uh, these uh, simple uh, networks are mathematically equivalent uh, to, uh, finite, to um, finite uh, automata. That was a proof that was already given in the end of the 50s by a team. And you also proved that these, uh, these uh, simple uh, systems are able to recognize very simple languages, uh, the so-called regular languages. And then in the next step, we can consider uh, dual networks um, weighted, the uh, edges are weighted by rational numbers. And they are mathematically equivalent to uh, Turing uh, machines, and uh, these systems are able to recognize even natural languages as far as they are recon uh, reconstructed by Chomsky grammars. And then in the next step, we can consider neural networks characterized by real numbers. And uh, that is very interesting uh, with respect even to technical applications, because sensors, you know, uh, use uh, continuous uh, scaling. And these analog uh, networks are uh, mathematically equivalent to our uh, extended Turing machines in the sense of oracle machines. Oracles which are polynomially uh, restricted. And these systems are even able to uh, recognize uh, natural uh, languages beyond the uh, constructions of the uh, Chomsky uh, grammars. Now anyway, these kind of neural networks are nowadays uh, applied to um, the uh, spectacular uh, technology like the self-learning uh, cars. Now uh, you cannot uh, recognize here uh, the diagram. Uh, it uh, illustrates uh, the procedure of uh, self-learning uh, neural networks here. Uh, there is a, uh, a scheme of uh, this, uh, this uh, simple uh, toy uh, vehicle. Uh, it is uh, equipped with uh, uh, sensors here, and the sensors are connected <coughs> with a multi-layered uh, neural uh, network. And uh, the concept should illustrate that the system can be trained to uh, avoid uh, collisions with external <coughs> obstacles. That means to avoid uh, accidents. And uh, that is a uh, uh, nice idea, but uh, the problem uh, nowadays is how many real-world accidents are required to teach machine learning-based autonomous vehicles. And uh, another important aspect nowadays is that uh, these uh, neural networks nowadays are characterized by an explosion of the parameters. These are no longer these uh, simple networks which are uh, used here for uh, illustration. Uh, they uh, are characterized by an exploding numbers of uh, nodes. So uh, nobody, nowadays, nobody nowadays is uh, uh, able to know what is going on in these black boxes of these uh, um, uh, dual uh, systems. And uh, they are trained by the engineers and the AI people by tuning uh, the parameters and sometimes they are uh, rather efficient, but the problem is illustrated here in uh, this uh, cartoon, which I showed for several times. 
the policeman here of uh, his uh, self-driving car is asking uh, the other guy, does your car have any idea why my car pulled it over? So we need nowadays more probability, explainability, accountability of neural networks with uh, uh, constructive proofs, I think. I have not the time here to go into details, but the idea is the proposed solution build a constructive proof assistant on top of the uh, statistical uh, machine learning uh, systems uh, here. And that means uh, uh, proof systems uh, which uh, controls that the current behavior of uh, the car logically implies the uh, instructions, uh, the uh, legal uh, demands of uh, uh, the convention on uh, road uh, traffic. My last remark uh, very shortly concerns uh, the practical application of constructive mathematics. I think we will uh, also discuss uh, during our uh, confer conference financial uh, mathematics. We have uh, some experts uh, here on that. Um, and uh, um, Gaga uh, Swindland, they uh, two years ago they introduced a nice result uh, to justify uh, intuitionistically, constructively, uh, the fundamental uh, theorem of uh, asset pricing. I will not go here in uh, the detail, but uh, I like to mention another result of um, uh, financial uh, mathematics, which I considered and I saw there will be a, 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 a lecture on uh, uh, convex uh, constructive uh, mathematics, and I think this result uh, relates uh, to these um, um, to these theorems. Um, it concerns the, the concept of value of risk, and perhaps you know value of risk is a very fashionable and uh, often used uh, concept in financial mathematics. Uh, roughly speaking, it means that uh, the value of risk of a portfolio at a certain confidence level is given by uh, the smallest numbers, that the probability of a loss is not larger than uh, the confidence level. Now the point is that this concept is positively homogeneous, but not in general coherent, a coherent risk measure because it misses subjectivity and hence it is not convex. An uh, immediate con uh, consequence is that the value of risk, this concept, might discourage diversification. Here are the formal um, uh, definitions here of sub-additivity. Uh, it means uh, intuitively uh, that the risk of two portfolios together cannot get worse than adding the two risks separately. And uh, this means uh, the diversification principle. And here is positive homogeneity. It uh, only means if you double your uh, portfolios then you double your risk and subjectivity and uh, positive homogeneity can be replaced by the notion of uh, convexity. So uh, the target is uh, to find uh, convex uh, risk measures. Uh, that was uh, uh, suggested by Firma and Sheet in 2008. By the way, that was exactly the year of the last uh, financial uh, crisis. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, concept uh, starts with a dual representation of a convex risk measure, which cons computes the worst case expectation taken over all uh, models. That means um, the concept is not restricted to a certain risk measure, like, for example, the value of risk, but uh, the whole uh, class of uh, possible probabilistic uh, models. Uh, is a set of probability uh, measures such that the expectation uh, of an, uh, um, the expectation of a model with respect uh, to a portfolio is well defined, well defined for all uh, models and uh, portfolios. And the advantage of this uh, suggestion is that you now consider a class of models, and the class of models can be used as a stress uh, test, and you do not only rely on a fixed uh, model, but uh, uh, one chooses the sure side for every 
uh, position and focuses on the corresponding worst case model. And thus, that is interesting, I think, from a methodological point of view. The model ambiguity in uh, financial uh, mathematics is explicitly considered here during the procedure. Now, uh, my last slide uh, coming to an end. Um, I think, uh, I hope it was obvious that constructivity and uh, computability has at first deep uh, impact to uh, proof theory with uh, intuitionistic logic and intu intuitionistic type theory, functional interpretation, the concept of information system, with consequences to mathematics, predicative mathematics, constructive mathematics in the bishop sense, reverse mathematics, and to computer science, functional pro uh, programming, surface <coughs> systems, even machine learning, AI uh, nowadays, but uh, it has uh, important impact, I want to underline in uh, the end, to technology and uh, society nowadays, because engineering uh, mathematics nowadays is mainly based on the constructive uh, procedures uh, and uh, financial uh, issues should be uh, uh, based on these uh, concepts. So in the end, I'm deeply convinced that uh, uh, accountability and responsibility questions nowadays uh, need uh, more constructive uh, procedures. I thank you for your attention.